Hi guys, in this video I want to share with you a summer fruit butter bowl recipe. I got some really ripe nectarines and I got some strawberries and blueberries and I just wanted to take you along with why I've paired these different ingredients together and how I've created this um, butter bowl recipe. The first thing that I do when I'm going to make a new recipe is I start tasting the different fruit because what I'm looking for is how good quality is the fruit that I've got. So every nectarine, every time you get strawberries, the flavour will be slightly different depending on the quality of the fruit that you've got or how ripe it is. And nectarines, strawberries and blueberries, they're all like kind of sub-acid fruit, so they, they're they sweet, they can be very sweet, but they can also be slightly bitter, slightly sour. So I had a taste of them and I was lucky, all of them were really sweet. If they weren't, then I probably would have paired them with a sweeter fruit, maybe something like a mango um, or more banana. Um, I'd also probably blend them together and add some, maybe some dates, just to kind of create balance out the flavour um, so that it isn't too sour. Um, because I got really sweet fruit, I really wanted to make that the main part of the dish. So you can buy nectarines all year round, but they are just, they taste the best. Same with peaches, um, like June, July, August. The blueberries were really nice as well, and they don't always get really good blueberries. So what I decided to do with this recipe was at the bottom of the bowl, um, as with all my butter bowl recipes, I like to put chopped fruit at the, big, at the bottom because I like to chew um, and create different textures within my recipes. So I had the small blueberries at the bottom and I chopped some of them up just to give a bit of different texture. Um, but I like the crunch um, of the blueberries, um, so I kept most of them whole. And then I added the strawberries in with them and what I love with strawberries is when I get loads of really good tasting strawberries, I really like to cut them up into really tiny pieces because when you eat them, um, you just can fit more in your mouth and when you're chewing on them, you just get more of an intense flavour. For the nectarines, um, I really wanted to keep it simple because the nectarines just tasted so good on their own. So I decided to blend them up into kind of a smoothie sauce. Um, so I didn't blend them with any other fruit, no water. I just wanted a thick um, nectarine sauce to go over the, the, the berries at the bottom. When you get really good quality fruit, you don't need to make complicated um, recipes or put lots of different fruit together. The more fruit that you put together, the more you'll lose the individual flavours. You just need to um, find two or three flavours that go well together and blend them up. Or in this case, I just decided to blend the nectarines up on their own and pour that over, over the top of the berries. Um, and I had extra nectarine left and I really liked it, so I also made a smoothie. So I poured the rest of the nectarine into a glass to drink on its own as well and just really <laughs> savour that the, the flavours. Um, so on top, I've got my sliced bananas and my blueberries. Um, because I like a crunch and I like the creaminess of the bananas. Um, if I didn't have the blueberries, I probably would have added some dried fruit, but I was quite happy with the crunch and the flavour of the blueberries. So I decided just to keep it, the recipe as fresh fruit. And then I poured the strawberries. So I just, again, blended strawberries on their own because they just had a really good flavour and poured that on top. Um, and that was it. And then when I mix it all together, the combination of all those different flavours, um, just it just tasted really good. Um, and then for the smoothie, I also had a bit of extra strawberry um, mixture left as well, so I poured that on top. And I actually really enjoyed having the kind of two smoothies on top. It was mainly nectar and a little bit of strawberry. Um, so while you're drinking it, you, you've got, you're enjoying the strawberry, then you enjoy um, a mixture of the nectarine and the strawberry and then you and then you get the nectarine at the end. So you can do that with any difference. You just have to make two, maybe three smoothies and just lay them on top of each other and then you kind of get them one after each other as you are enjoying your smoothie with a little kind of bit of a mix in the middle. So I really enjoyed that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Um, there's a few weeks left to enjoy super ripe peaches and nectarines um, and experiment with making your own fruit butter balls. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.
拜。